Matt Yasa here, another episode of Glassmith. Now one question that comes around a lot is what tube or rod uh, diameter and wall thickness to get. And there's a lot of varieties out there, so this is just going to go over the basics of what to get to begin with. And this is going to focus mainly on boro silicate, so not really soft glass here. Now the first up is blow tubes. And the first tip I want to give uh, is to buy your glass in bulk. You know, you want to buy uh, the cases, which are the most expensive, but will save you the most money and are packaged the best. This is uh, wasn't a case, and as you see, it's wrapped up like this. And then just to show you what you kind of get if you do non-case. And here is what your cases will look like. They're basically five foot rods and tubes. They're very long, that's why they'll cut them in half unless you order a full case. And they come very well protected, which is what I like. This one's partitioned off here for each tube and down here to keep them from touching. They got these dividers, so it keeps them very uh, protected. And then also some of the times the edges can be a little bit chipped or cracked. Uh, it's not a big deal for this one, but on like larger tubes, a little crack could end up leading into a larger chunk. So this uh, tube is about 12 millimeters round, and then the wall thickness is a heavy wall, a, like a 2.3 millimeters. And one reason I like the heavy wall is because when I flare it out, it's uh, kind of closer matching the, the thickness of the larger tubes. You know, I don't have to build up that thickness first and then flare it. And this really is a, a versatile tube. You know, it's, it's really good to get a good stock of these because they also do a lot of other stuff. They'll, they'll make great uh, sizes for your glass on glass fittings, the gongs. And then I also think uh, a great little tip is to use them as punties. You know, it, it gives you a larger area to punty up to. So they are actually pretty secure and it's a little bit lightweight because it's hollow. This is 26 millimeter, a uh, four millimeter heavy wall. For the American glass blowing, we do use the uh, heavy wall usually just because you can blow out the bubbles a lot uh, larger. I just find it, it it's a little bit easier to work on. You'd kind of think starting out, you might want to do the standard, the one millimeter thin glass, but it reacts so quickly in the flame that if you're not rotating it right, you know, it's going to end, end up just getting very lopsided. Whereas this, you'll soak in a lot of heat for a while before you get the kind of reactions that from, from gravity and ev everything else. And this works great for your small to medium sized hollow projects. Of course, for larger bubbles, larger projects, you want to go with uh, the f around a 40 millimeter up to a 50 millimeter. And then for the rods, you don't really want to go uh, too thin. Like this is a four millimeter and it'll break pretty easily, even if it's securely connected to a marble. You know, the marble could just be a little bit heavy and you, you know, whack it and it will fly off. And we're from a seven to a nine millimeter. It makes a pretty good punty and also allows you to do clear coast and such. And then for a lot of my projects uh, that require a lot of solid glass, uh, pendants, the lenses, marbles. I'll get the 26 millimeter rod uh, just because it takes less time to melt it back and it's a little bit cleaner because there's less uh, area exposed to the atmosphere as you're melting it in than versus like you know a 15 millimeter or something. One thing to keep in mind is though that th this is very sensitive to the uh, stress, heat stress. So if you end up flashing it real hot and letting it cool, you'll really quickly just crack it. So oftentimes a good idea is to either come in on it really slowly or put it in the kiln and kind of warm it up. And then of course, uh, the colored rods, which are actually probably the most fun part. You have a lot of different companies and different colors between them to, to choose from. A couple of my favorites are uh, Tag and Glass Alchemy. I think TAG does really great uh, transparency and the color changing colors like the silvered ones while uh, Glass Alchemy does really great opaque colors like the solid, this is solid orange from Glass Alchemy. 
And this is a green slime from Tag. It's kind of like ectoplasm a little bit. There's also Frit, which is ground up glass, which has kind of a certain applications, ma mainly on the inside of clear backing of like a pendant. You have to be careful. You definitely don't want to inhale or get this in your, in your body. 